Good morning, everyone. We are starting this day bright and early at 5.25 a.m. with a little bit of spinning and exercise. So I am happy to report that I have done really well at getting up early and getting some exercise in first thing in the morning. I have found that that has been key to me to being more productive throughout the day and just having a higher energy level overall. Today, I'm taking you guys with me on a regular day in the life of a working mom. So like I said, most weekday mornings, I start my day out with a quick ride on my Soul Cycle bike. I do anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes, just depending on what courses are available and what I feel like at the time. I don't really work up too much of a sweat. My goal is basically just to get my heart rate up for 20 to 30 minutes and again, get that energy boost to use throughout the day. So this morning I was actually behind on my laundry and so I took about 20 minutes to fold some clothes. I was just listening to a podcast and finishing up my water and I don't usually wake my kids up until about 6 30 and so at this point I had about half an hour to get this done before I woke them up and started getting them ready for school. Now I do work full-time from home which I consider an immense privilege and it is a huge huge blessing in my life but I also do travel sometimes and although I haven't been traveling recently that will be picking up more this spring. So after I wake the kids up, I normally go downstairs and start uh, making my coffee, getting something to drink, making the kids lunches, that kind of thing. And I also like to just open the blinds every morning, kind of wake the house up, let the sunlight in. I have tons of windows in my house and I like to have them all open to the light <laughs> at any time uh, because I just think that getting exposure to sunlight in the morning um, just helps wake you up and brighten your mood. It's really nice if you can go outside and go for a walk, but it's winter time here um, and I don't necessarily enjoy walking in five degree weather, although I know it's possible a lot of people <laughs> still do that. So the next thing that I like to do right after I do my workouts in the morning is to take my fiber and my greens supplement. Thank you so much to Bellway for sponsoring today's video. They make great fiber supplements that I use religiously and I'm going to tell you why. So a while back, I had my annual physical with my primary care physician and as a nurse, I'm here to tell you that even if you think nothing is wrong with you, you definitely need to get your annual physical and all of your preventative tests done. Please schedule that today if you haven't already. Okay, PSA, <laughs> PSA over. But anyway, after I got my labs drawn, my doctor called me back. She said, your vitamin D level is really low and your hemoglobin is really low. Are you tired all the time? And I was like, yes, why yes, I am tired <laughs> all the time. So after that, I wanted to start taking a daily green supplement along with a liquid iron supplement and a vitamin D supplement. And to counteract the effects of the iron supplement, I wanted to make sure that I was getting a fiber supplement. Enter Bellway. If you're not familiar with Bellway, they are a supplement that's made with a super fiber called psyllium husk. It helps nourish your gut. It also helps with bloating and it helps keep you regular without making you run to the bathroom. And like I said, you have to take something like fiber if you're going to take an iron supplement on the regular. So what I do in the morning is I mix my greens with my Bellway fiber and I put my iron and my vitamin D supplement in there. I shake it up really well and I drink it. Uh, the taste is really good actually. I like both the watermelon flavor and the pineapple. But even if you're not taking iron, I still think it's a great supplement to take every day. You can actually take it one to three times a day and it also helps keep you full longer. So many mornings when I take this along with my greens and my supplements, I don't even eat breakfast because it makes me full. So if you guys want to check out Bellway, I would definitely encourage you to. I have used many of their products over the years and they are all great. They have bundles on their website and if you want to order directly from them, I'll have a link in the description box below. You can use code GEN20 to get 20% off your first order at Bellway. They are also available on Amazon, so I'll have those products linked on Amazon down below as well. It's up to you wherever you'd like to order from. They 
also have the Bellway Beauty supplements that have collagen and hyaluronic acid in them, which can help your skin health. And the Bellway Beauty is organic, all natural, keto, paleo friendly, and a gluten free fiber supplement. Um, like I said, I love both the watermelon and the pineapple flavor. I think they are both delicious. Once again, if you guys want to try them out, I'll have that link in the description box below. You can use code Gen20 to get 20% off your first order direct from Bellway or order on Amazon. All right, so after I get my greens in, it's time to feed Murphy. We feed him twice a day in the morning and in the evening, and he definitely knows when it's time to eat and he will bother me until <laughs> until I feed him. So now I'm going to make Connor's lunch. So Connor typically does take his lunch to school. He just prefers that I make it rather than eating school lunch, which is fine. Um, Kira does take home lunch sometimes, but mostly she eats at school. So I have one of his yum boxes today and I love these. They are great for packing healthy lunches for kids because you can put all kinds of little fruit and veggies and cheese and whatever you want to put in there. Um, it's really fun for them. So I put some cucumbers and some carrots into one of the compartments. I added some cherry tomatoes and I got this veggie tray from Walmart. I actually thought it was pretty affordable for the amount of veggies and dip and meat and cheese that I got in there. So highly recommend looking for that if you're at Walmart and you want something <laughs> like that. I added some of the turkey sausage bites and some Colby Jack cheese as well. And then I just cut one of the celery sticks up and added that. For breakfast this morning, Connor is going to have some whole grain waffles. These are just freezer waffles. Yes, I know you guys tell me all the time how much you think I have my, you know, what together, but I am a mom just like y'all and I work full time and yeah, my kids eat frozen waffles too for breakfast. So these are just the frozen Nutri-Grain waffles. I put them in the toaster and I add some peanut butter to the top of them. Super unfancy. This is just the natural peanut butter that I get from Sam's Club. And then we always seem to have apples on hand and of course anything apples and peanut butter is good. So I'm just going to slice one of these up and add it to the side and he'll have that along with a glass of milk for breakfast. Okay, so for the last little section in Connor's lunchbox, I decided to put a little PB&J sandwich. Um, I had one compartment left and so I thought what I would do is um, kind of cut one of these sandwiches into little circles and add that. I thought that would be fun. So I'm just spreading some grape jelly on one side of the bread. This is from Trader Joe's and I'll spread some peanut butter butter on the other side. And then I'm just using a plain circle cookie cutter to cut this into two circles and I'll kind of stack those on top of one another in the yum box. Um, but I figured this was a lunch that he would really, really like. He loves PB&J. He loves raw veggies and cheese and turkey sticks. So what's not to like <laughs> about this? And bonus, it was super, uh, well, not super easy. It was pretty easy, I would say, to put together. Okay, the last thing that I'm going to add is one of these um, fruit sticks. Um, these are kind of like fruit snacks, except they don't have any added sugar. So I like buying these as opposed to regular fruit snacks. I'm just cutting that up so it will fit in the little container there. So we've got our cheese cubes, peanut butter and jelly, some carrots and cucumbers, celery, tomatoes, some turkey sausage, a go-gurt, and some flavored water. And boom, that is done. So now that the kids are off to school, it's time for me to make my coffee <laughs> as well as uh, get ready for work work and get to work for the day. So if you guys haven't seen, I just made myself a whole coffee coffee bar and it is a vibe. I love it. So normally what I do is I brew a couple shots of espresso in my Nespresso machine and then I like extra ice in my lattes, my ice lattes. So I fill that all the way up to the top with ice and then as the espresso is brewing in the cup, um, once I brew two shots of espresso into my cup, I will add some milk to that. I just use whatever I have on hand. Sometimes I use 2% whole milk. Sometimes I use almond milk. Like I said, it just depends on what I have in the fridge at the time. I like adding the milk to the espresso separately before I pour it over the ice because it helps, um, you know, keep the ice from melting. Sometimes if you pour hot espresso over ice, it just melts it way too quickly. So that's what I end up doing. And I add one pump of sugar-free syrup to this. So I did end up trying the Jordan's uh, skinny syrups. I ordered a pack of those off of Amazon and I really like them a lot. I was kind of skeptical. I wasn't quite sure <laughs> how I was going to like them, um, but I just pour the milk and the espresso over that one pump of sugar-free syrup and then I mix this up with a straw and bam, 
done good coffee and I don't even have to leave my house. Uh, if you guys wanna see how I sort of set this coffee bar up, I have a whole video about that. I will link it down below. All right, so now it's time for me to get myself ready before I get to work for the day. Sometimes if I have time, I do this before I wake the kids up. It just depends on when I can get myself <laughs> out of bed. Ideally, I'm rolling out of bed right at five o'clock and exercising first thing, but you know, we're all human and sometimes we do push the snooze button a few times because that's just, <laughs> that's just how life goes. So I'm gonna work on my hair first. Um, I like washing my hair at night because it is thick and it takes forever to blow dry and it makes me really hot when I blow dry it. So it's nice if I can take a shower at night, have it air dry, and then in the morning, all I have to do is straighten it and throw some dry shampoo in there. Um, Adam was asking me, he's like, don't you wanna shower in the morning after you work out? And I'm like, well, if I was getting like really, really sweaty, yes, I would. Or if I was like swimming or something like that, like, yeah, I'd wanna take a shower after that. Um, but honestly, my goal with like working out in the morning is not to get like super, super sweaty. Um, I know that that is probably um, what some people would recommend. But for me, I just wanna, like I said, get my heart rate up for 20 minutes and get energized for the day ahead. So I do typically just wash my face and obviously brush my teeth and then get my hair and makeup done. Um, I don't wear a ton of makeup. I, I'm not, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a huge makeup wearer, but I do like to just put a little bit of like BB cream or light foundation or tinted moisturizer or something like that just to kind of even out my skin tone. So after I put my moisturizer on, I put that on and then I do use a little bit of concealer um, underneath my eyes and on my chin where I do have a couple of scars um, from acne, although I have been using retinol the past several years and it has improved my skin greatly. So it is um, later now. I'm actually taking my lunch appointment, my lunch appointment, <laughs> my lunch break to go to my orthodontist appointment. I am so excited today because I am get, finally getting a bracket put on this tooth right here. It's been bothering me for like weeks and months and years. I'm just kidding, more like months. Um, because it looks so ridiculous, but there's a spring they put in here that spread these two teeth apart. This is the second spring I've had on for eight weeks, four weeks each. And so now there's enough space that they can put a bracket on that tooth and bring it down into alignment with my bottom teeth. So uh, I'm actually so surprised and pleased with how all of my teeth have aligned. Uh, like, I can't believe it. Sometimes I feel like when I get these taken off, I'm just gonna sit in the mirror and stare at my teeth because I've never had straight teeth before. So yeah, I'm gonna go in and get that done. I'll show you guys when I get out. All right, so, see? I don't know if you can see it. So they put a bracket on that tooth, but they did not engage it with the arch wire because uh, it's still too far back. So he said he put a thread around it. Let's pull it forward. I don't know. I'm like, huh. So, that's something. Well, one step closer to getting these off. He originally said 18 months, although I feel like they quote a lot of people 18 months. Um, but he said today that they might be able to take them off at a year, um, which would be in August. So that'd be fantastic, right? Okay, I'm gonna go home and uh, get back to work and grab something for lunch. I'll show you guys what I have, what I end up having. Well, I should have showed you guys before I ate this because now it's not that impressive, but I'm full and I'm not gonna... <laughs> eat the rest of it. So this is a chorizo chili with black beans that I meal prepped this weekend. It's really good. Um, it was a sun basket meal and I put some like um, tortilla chips in it and a little bit of cheese and some Greek yogurt and some cilantro. Super duper good. So that's what I ended up having for lunch today. It's 5 30. I'm done with work. I totally forgot that Adam has a haircut tonight that I am apparently escorting him to. <laughs> he goes to the same salon where I get my hair cut and he like literally just like maybe three months ago I convinced him to start getting like actual professional like haircuts and beard trims um he has always just like cut his hair at home and I've helped him like clean up the back or whatever so yeah I'm very proud of him for doing adult things um anyway so we're gonna go do that and um I just realized that I'm probably gonna pick up dinner I was planning on making something but the day it really got away with me and I don't even know what to make so maybe we'll just get um pick something up maybe tacos or something I don't know we'll see okay so we did stop and pick up tacos for dinner of course it was a lot of food so we have leftovers you know for lunch tomorrow or whatever Everybody got, well, Adam got a chimichanga, the rest of us got tacos. And the best part of getting takeout is that you get extra chips and salsa. 
And then you have chips and salsa at your house. Yay. Okay, so I wanna show you guys. I got this order in from Etsy. Um, this shop is called Gifted Missouri Girl. Her name is Jamie. She sent me some goodies before to my P.O. box and I went on her Etsy shop and found some extra things to buy. So I thought I would share them with you guys. So I thought these little bunnies are so cute. She does crocheted items and I got two of these. I got one for Adam's mom because I thought that she would really like that. So I got her one. I got myself one to put on my front table for Easter. Isn't that so cute? And she has all different colors. So I'll link her shop down below. You guys go support her. She's got really cute stuff. Um, and then she had these crocheted um, coasters, which they look like sunflowers. I thought they were so pretty. So I got those for the living room. And then she sent a little freebie, a little magnet. So thank you, Jamie, for sending that stuff. I love it. I mean, I ordered it from you, but thank you for <laughs> making such cute stuff. So yeah, I thought I would share that with you guys. And then at the salon when I was there with Adam, I needed a refill of my very favorite shampoo and conditioner. This is the Davines Oi. I think, I don't know, that's always how I say it. I don't know if that's true or not. I splurge on this every once in a while. I don't always get it because it's, it's kind of pricey, but I do like it. Um, when I get it, it makes my hair super soft. And I got a order from uh, Misfits Market today. Um, this is not, I didn't pick this out on my own. They just sent me whatever. So that's fine, I needed some produce anyway. So they sent me a sweet kale salad, some avocados, uh, golden beets, which I've never had before. So those I'll have to try to roast up. Some lemons, apples, um, carrots, and a three pound bag of potatoes, which I'll always use those. All right, just got done loading the dishwasher. And yes, I had to load the dishwasher because yes, I still had dishes in the sink. And even though we got takeout, <laughs> dishes from last night in the sink so at least I didn't have more so typically right after I get the kids to bed then I will take my shower I love taking a shower at night because I just think it's so relaxing and it helps me sleep so after I get out of the shower I just put my moisturizer on I always like to make sure I put a good moisturizer on before I go to sleep at night so I can keep my skin <laughs> nice and hydrated while I'm in bed and I told you guys before I have been using retinol for several years now I think I actually started using at the beginning of the pandemic i used the CeraVe resurfacing retinol serum and i have noticed such an improvement in my skin i hardly ever break out anymore i also had a lot of like dark marks on my chin that have faded a lot since i've been using that so i highly recommend it um, and then i like to use the laneige lip sleeping mask and i put that on my lips before i get into bed for the night and then for my hair since it's wet um, i just brush through it really quick i have a wet brush um, since i've gotten my hair cut i got about six inches cut off not too long ago and it's a lot easier to uh, manage now and much healthier so i'm glad <laughs> that i did that um, but normally i'll just spray in some type of like a conditioning treatment or leave-in conditioner this is the oil all-in-one milk i like things that spray because then i don't don't have to get my hands sticky and then it will air dry overnight it's been quite a while since i've been um all ready to go to bed at 9 30 but i will take it because i want to get up around five again tomorrow and <laughs> start my day off with some exercise so thank you guys for spending the day with me today uh don't forget to check out bellway if you need uh supplements and you're getting old like me and you need to like feel better and have your body um functioning <laughs> it's the best make sure you check that out i'll have links down below uh otherwise thank you so much for being here and if you want to see how i started getting up again at 5 a.m i'll link a video right here you can watch thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye